Well, as New York State tries to flatten the curve of COVID-19, a big concern is hospital beds and ventilators. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has the latest on the numbers. Governor Cuomo says there are 53,000 hospital beds in New York State and 3,000 ICU beds. Right now, the hospitalization rate is running between 15 and 19 percent uh, from our sample of the tests we take. The governor says experts are expecting as many as 55,000 to 110,000 hospital beds will be needed at the peak of the outbreak and as many as 18,000 to 37,000 ICU beds. An ICU bed is different than a hospital bed. An ICU bed has additional equipment, most notably ventilators. And that's why you hear on the news ventilators are very hard to get uh, globally. The governor says he is examining the entire health care system to look at the maximum capacity per hospital if spatial rules are waived. He's also looking at how to set up temporary hospital facilities. Even if they're not intensive care units, you can take people who are in the hospital beds, move them into a temporary medical care facility, and then backfill the bed. Health Commissioner Howard Zucker says the state has about 4,000 ventilators. There are more available than that, but that's the, the numbers that we have right now. There, there are, we have a stockpile, there are ventilators there, but we're looking about getting more ventilators. Between them, UHS and Lord's leadership tell News Channel 34 that they have a combined 34 ICU beds, which typically are at full capacity. They say any additional infrastructure would be used to house other inpatients, while existing operating rooms would be converted to ICUs. The governor is asking retired medical staff to go to health.ny.gov assistance for help to sign, to sign up for some available on-call slots, and the state is also reaching out to medical and nursing schools for extra help.